I got you. I'm gonna try. There we go. Oh, dude. All right, she's lined up on that line. Tail pinched. Uh, he's 25 in a in a quarter, basically 25 and a half, somewhere right in there. What a beautiful monster, monster fish. The soft bait on the surface is just so subtle. I think that's where it really jacks them up, and especially when you reel it and it goes down a little bit and then you pause and it slowly starts going back up to the surface. It really plays with their mind. It's not putting off a lot of negative cues to them. So I think it's such an advantage. Gotta turn that shit off. Oh, it just got bit. I saw it. Wasn't a good bite, but it tapped it. He's a fired up little shit, dude. Just creeping it, dude. This little guy was fired up, man. That's where they normally get hooked. Right in that meaty stuff of the corner of the jaw. So he obviously sucked that thing in. Nice little butterball. Not giant by any means, but I mean, dude, you're on the East Coast. This is an advantage. Fish are still eating that size bait for that size fish. What is that? Four or five pounds? Still smoked it. Felt them playing with it. I even said it like, oh, this guy, and then it's all, dook. <laughs> no. All the way right there. <laughs> it wasn't, he was about the same size cookie cutter like that one. He was on it like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's doing. <laughs> like that time when it was way out there, I felt it again like something happening with the line. I'm like, they have to be down there messing with it. Oh my bitch. god. What? I saw that. Yeah. Again. <laughs> These little guys get so fired up, dude. Uh oh, get out of the Just release yourself. Every time. <laughs> it's like they're so pissed. <laughs> I don't want to keep those fish and like parade them around, but I also don't want them to go back and just murder the spot. They're gonna run back, tell their little buddies, nah, bro, you have to chill. That fish was a good example of like, I could feel them tapping it out there. I'm waiting for an actual to swing on them. If I'm just feeling little taps, I don't know what's going on out there, but Experience has shown me that all I'm gonna do is just be pulling it away. It's almost like one of them's coming up there and just like nipping it. I'm waiting to actually feel it go boom. 
and that's when I set. But if you watch, you can see my line kind of like jump occasionally, and that's them. They're messing with it, and I know they're messing with it. I even say, oh, they're messing with it. And I'm waiting for that, that actual real thump that you feel, and that's where I hit them. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just pulling it away, and pulling it away after they hit it, sure, sometimes you have a woman follow up and eat it, but a lot of times is you feel them hit it, you kind of swim it a little bit, let them get another shot, they don't, then I might burn it away from them. And then that's where they come back and do, and actually go, oh dude, give me that thing. I mean, it's different for everywhere, but that's, that's kind of what I've found to work the best. And that hook is still in great shape. That wire is in perfect shape. It lasts and it works well. Obviously it works, it's hooking them. People think that that's not enough hook sticking out off the, the bottom. When they're actually eating the bait, it's enough. See them? They're under it right now, way out there. They want it so bad, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh. Get over here, girl. Get over here, girl. I got a choke, but this is not. Oh my god, dude. Damn, she's down there. Damn, that fish smoked it, dude, and watch this. She took this thing right off the surface. You wanna see a bait that's choked? That bait's choked. She smoked that thing right up off the surface. Give me that one prong out of her right there. That's the most choked one I've ever had. Oh, oh man. That was a nice quality one. Oh, take that. That was a good bite. Thump that thing. Boom! Watch this little guy freak out again. Dude, kill yourself, bro. Oh my god. I hate this guy. There, see, she's cool, calm, and collected. Alright. Don't even trip, but we were both wrong. Eight, eight pounds, five ounces. There she goes. Damn, that's a good takeoff. Oh yeah. That's how you'd like to see him go. These hooks naturally have a little flare to them. One point in her and she, it didn't bend out, so I'm telling you, the, the hooks are great. I'm gonna re-rig it right now, and re, or re-tie. Get those pins going again, and don't be lazy. Always re-tie after you catch one. I get lazy, and it bites me for it. Sometimes you're just in the heat of the moment, and you, you wanna go for it, but uh, it's just better to stop and re-tie. Something I didn't mention earlier is, when you tie to the wire, you actually tie to the wire, not the screw eye. The wire is what we're tying our knot on. That's what's leading the bait. Once I'm done tying it, I'll show you. Go through, go through, cinch it down. I'm tied to the actual wire, not the screw eye. Seems obvious, but you never know. So I just want to make sure that's clear. We're tying to that wire. going into that umbrella.
Oh my God, dude. That was not a good hook set. Maybe you didn't get a hook in him because my line was fouled. I don't know what's going on. Dude, what kind of horse shit is that, man? Damn, dude. He didn't seem like he was that big of a fish, though, so. It's okay then, right? This, that's what you do. You tell yourself. You have like three or four pounds. It doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about catching that one, right? Meanwhile, 13 down there is all, oh, oh. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, he's like, I don't know, he's like three pounds or so. <laughs> Gotta play by the rules, Jeffrey. Gotta play by the rules, bro. Now I'm playing by the rules. I'm inside from that buoy to that buoy. I'm, in, I'm inside of it. Over there it was too much. One prong, got him. And it's in there. Deep. Oh, God. There. What's this? Old school, dude. Old school here. Just got smoked, dragging it. Damn it. It's a big one too. Sure. Oh, dude, it's a big fish. I'm not even kidding. Bro, it's a big one. Dude, this is grinding me hard. Watch out, Jeffy, don't get in the way of the net. He's a big fish. Dude! Ah! Dude! That's a tank. You have no idea how pumped I am. Look at how that fish ate it. One hook up top. 10 inch tyrant, dragging it. My adrenaline's pumping, man. That fish was working me. Get this treble out of her mouth. Thing's in there good. She wasn't getting off. Uh. Hooks, not bent at all. She had one prong in her. That is a beautiful monster fish. But I wanna put her in the live well real quick so she gets some air. Man, I guess the adrenaline running. You guys think that these hooks are too small? That that fish is giant. I don't know what the weight is yet, but that's a big fish. She just had one prong in her. You saw me earlier, I heated it up. We good. Top rig treble, you can always switch them out. Wire with the twist. I'm pumped, man. That's a big one, let's weigh this fish. We're zeroed, right? I hope this is another team fish. All right, let me grip her real quick. 
Oh my gosh. 12 pounds, 13 ounces. What a beast of a fish. Look at that girl, dude. Oh, love this. That's proof enough right there, right? Show them something a little different. Well, that's the day with the tyrant. Just came out here to talk about baits, kind of show how they work, and end up catching a 12 13. So, I'm gonna let her go. There she goes. She's ready. Amazing day, dude. Amazing day. Stoked. And now we gotta get off to SoCal, and we gotta be off before sun, sun's down. So, done.